Hello and welcome back to Raywood Acres. So we are going to wrap up this rack wireless uh, solar enclosure with the whiz block installed. Um, <clears throat> kind of my thoughts on it, right? So I already read from or seen other videos and other conversations about this solar panel but not being sufficient enough to keep this node operating as a complete off-grid node. I kind of assume the same. Um, but what, what I was trying to get after with my testing was one, how long could I keep it running? And of course there's many variables to that. So that's something you, you know, be kind of hard to do a perfect test because how often are you operating the device? You know, how much traffic is going through it? How much sun exposure is this getting? Is it in the right orientation and angle? So it's getting the best amount of solar exposure to give you the the most charge and then weather and so many variables right second was what kind of range am i going to get off this enclosure right so it's got a built-in antenna right here in the right hand corner will be a link to a video where i kind of have the breakdown of this this setup so if you're interested in, you know you can click on that link and check out that video to see what the internals look like because i'm not going to disassemble it for this video um <clears throat> So what kind of range? So first let's talk solar. Really what I saw with the solar in the, when I was getting perfect, beautiful weather. Um, and that was with it deployed in these, with these magnetic mounts on top of the roof of a car. So not always getting the perfect angle or orientation to the sun, but getting nice bright sunny days. Uh, I saw anywhere from uh, seven to eight days of operation. Um, so not too bad. Um, uh, I have not done a full on test with no solar exposure to see how long this would run. But <clears throat> what I can see as is the benefit of having this enclosure with even this small panel for one, it's very waterproof because it doesn't have a bunch of things it holes that you have to pop in it because every time you have to pop a hole in it even with gaskets and everything like that you just you create a point of possible water intrusion later um this allows for you to extend its ability to operate in one location without you going and retrieving it and you know plugging it into you know your wall adapter to charge it up <clears throat> so that's the benefit of having the solar on there use case for that um you know, probably more in the urban environment. You could deploy them on a couple of vehicles, um, suburban environment. Your team's out doing something. Your group's out there doing something, and you want to extend. You set them up as repeaters or routers, and you want to extend your range of your mesh network. These would help with that, uh, and it could be pretty easy. I mean, they could be on a couple of people's vehicles parked uh, throughout a certain area. And then uh, you, you and your uh, friends or whatever are out on foot. And now with your individual devices, and now they're just helping, like I said, extend that network. Um, <clears throat> so there's, that's my thoughts on that. Range, not great. With that internal antenna, uh, I saw between 40 and 50% less range compared to say a T-beam with this aftermarket antenna. I'll throw a link for, or just the descriptions of these antennas. I got them off DigiKey. I have no affiliation with them, but they're good little antennas. I've got quite a few of them now. Um, <clears throat> so that, that's a bummer too, right? You know, but what do you expect from a small embedded antenna in here that, you know, you're just, you're not going to get the greatest range. And so that's why I think something more close in work, these would be great for. I mean, it could even be, you can do different types of attachments. This could be um, attached with the, the pipe style attachments. I'm sure you could figure it out and I'd have to look in the list again. But on a bike, uh, pedal bikes, e-bikes, uh, and they sit on there. Uh, and then whenever you hop off your bike, you have your T-Echo in your pack or your, bo or your pocket or whatever, or clip to your, you know, on a belt clip or something. Um, so think about those use cases. Uh, if you have any more questions about this rack wireless 
solar enclosure, just put them in the comments down below. Uh, I will link here in the right hand corner my playlist for all my mesh uh, tastics, you know, LoRa communications, mesh network, ecoms, MCOM videos. Uh, if you've watched this long, means you found this useful, please subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up. Check us out at theravenwoodacres.com. Check out our social. You can connect with us via our other social media links down below. And as always, have a great day.